Anthony Albanese has said that he has a plan to build 30,000 new houses on the whole continent. 30,000 just isn't enough. Build dead in power! Build dead in power! By any measure, the worst housing crisis that this country has confronted since the 1940s, the late 1940s. Because I know, I feel a burning anger whenever I hear politicians talk about this rental crisis. Between our, our Premier and our Deputy Premier, seven houses, seven properties. None of them. No politicians are in crisis. No landlords are suffering. We can see around us the massive numbers of people who are living rough now. I work in an industry which is actually, it's the higher education industry, it's actually a wealthy industry, and although there are a lot of low-paid workers in it, by the broader scheme of things, we don't do too badly. However, there are people that I know who are skipping meals to pay the rent. For landlords, politicians and the real estate industry, this has not been a crisis. This has been great for them. It's been a money-making opportunity for them. There are people I know, members of my union, who are gainfully employed, who are constantly couch surfing because they cannot find a place to rent of their own. This is absolutely disgraceful. And I just put up with it because I was so terrified of being homeless. I was watching the news. I was aware of the statistics. I knew how hard it was to get a place. But it's not even about just the amount of houses that there are because there are so many empty houses all, all, all around the continent that sit empty. That sit empty because people who own those houses don't need those houses. People who own multiple houses buy those houses to make money off them. It's totally justifiable and understandable for us to be targeting the landlords and the property managers and the real estate agents. Uh, that is totally justifiable. But we need to understand that they are simply a symptom of the problem. They are just a particular face of the problem. And the problem is the market and the problem is capitalism. They buy them so that they can rent them out for a profit, so that they can sell them on later for a profit. We've been suffering while they're getting even richer. Those people treat housing as a commodity when, as, as, the, as the chair said, it should be a right. And housing is not going to happen unless we come together and fight as a right. We need to get involved to join South East Queensland Union of Renters. Even if you've got a mortgage and you're paying off the house, join up, support, get along. So what we need is not just empty homes that are available to live in, we also need rent caps. We need to engage in pickets of evictions. We need to engage in rent strikes, organised rent strikes. We need to start community gardens. We need to talk, we need to get out in the community and have a crack. We also need, we also need a moratorium on evictions. I say we should choose to fight. Smash land on power! Build tenant power! Smash land on power! Build tenant power!